people welcome back more vitamin y so today is a thursday and that means that we are using cosmic ebell yes so uh cosmic bell slash zing yang yang ebell it's not really ebell dead just kind of you know ebell tossed in with it because you know yang zing monsters can utilize cards that ebell can use it's not really the most ebell ish deck but uh i was planning on taking it off of here but now i'm you know i'm not even sure I'm just not, I'm not even sure at this point, just because <sighs> with the Wobble Chain ban, it just seems like the snuggles are real when it comes to cards. Wow, I can actually go ahead and go Jiao too, because it says if you could, you can send two Yangzing cards, so I can actually send the Bixie and this path with Jiao to summon summon. So I can actually do that if I wanted to, but I'm not sure if I want to do that. You know, I'm just not sure. Ooh, you know what? I got the resources, and you know what the funny thing is? I could do this because <laughs> I could pit pit summon Sawani, summon uh, Beyond, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Trish, <laughs> but I don't feel like it. I really don't. I really don't. Use my effect. I'm not gonna Trish him, but instead I am actually gonna go ahead. And Chao Feng, because I really like Chao Feng. And, you know, one of the decks that people were all excited to use Trish in was, of course, Yang Zing's. But it's just like, well, you know, why do that? You know, when you can just Chao Feng. Wait. Wait, one has to be zero attack, one has to be zero defense. My bad. My bad. My bad. <laughs> My B. I mean, I could still... I, could, I just had to do a different play. My bad. Because I forgot. I was like, wait a minute. There's more than a stipulation like that. Yeah. There's something one Yang Zing monster with zero attack and one Zing monster with zero defense. So, and of course I have to sync our summon because if I don't, they'll be banished during the end phase, which would suck. It's all during main phase one, of course. So I guess I can't do that play, so yeah, you know what, let's go ahead and summon Axia. Turn back to that. Just because I wouldn't have done that play if I didn't have, you know, my revival cards here, but yeah, go ahead and put it back. So, uh, before you type in 23, because I know people like to type in three, 23. Uh, my monster is 2100. So effect. Damn, that sucks. I was say, damn, can I bust Trish out already? No, because it'd be on had zero attack, but you know what? I'm fine with zero, be on having some attack, because I cannot stand that only Sawani has some attack. Drives me crazy. So if you want to go ahead and slap on an additional 500, there you go. So I'll just go ahead and set these two. Which of course, if he tries to like MST me, I can just chain and then summon my Yang Zing. It would be destroyed, get the effect. But, uh, you know, I've just been trying to figure out what I want to do with Vitamin Y since Chain is banned. Uh, you know, the decks that are slow because Chain is gone, uh, such as uh, Ebelixes, uh, Labradite, Ebel, and Supervise, those three decks seem like they're much slower without Chain. It takes a lot more setup. Like, if I just need to send, like, one monster, i.e. Ebel, then it's fine. You know, I'm just going to pace, but then am I really playing a Ebel deck? You know, it's conflicting. So one of the decks I was actually suggested for the return of was actually Shadal Ebel. Which, uh, I must admit, I had more fun with Shadal Ubel on Vibe and Wide than I did with just Shadal's on Daily Duels for the short time that it's on there. Now, do I like Shadal's? No. But, you know, it feels like Shadal's have a lot more synergy with Ubel, of course, being dark and ascending and, you know, being able to use more revival and writ than you would usually use in a Shadal deck. So, um, yeah, we might go ahead and, uh, maybe have the return of Shadal's, so. I'm not sure, I'm not sure. So, you summon Defender in attack mode. Send one monster from your hand, you have a graveyard, and you summon a fusion monster solicited, so I guess you're summoning a warrior type fusion monster. Okay. Oh, no, he's gonna send, uh, Lord of D's, nuts, and someone's cut the wand, alright, so. If it's called a special summon target, one of their faces and monster. If a battle monster roll, six eyes die and banish that opponent's monster until the next time of phase, number turn nine. Wow, so you're not even gonna do nothing. Okay. Alright. Ew, your tear. That's, that's awesome. Thank you, number generator. So I thought I seriously thought, oh, and then fucking stand my phase. 
you're for doing it to your opponent's demo phase, they must draw an additional card. So, <sighs> fucking defender, fucking defender. Oh, it must be face under the fast position. My bad, my bad. I knew I drew for defender, but forgot you have to be in. Uh, defense for that attack. So, this is talking about the damage stuff. This card battles an opponent's battles an opponent's monster and rolls a die, and I'm banished by that number. The standby phases, I guess. Alright, so I guess I'll go ahead and activate one of my revival cards and summon one of my. Uh, My Ying Zings. Yeah, we'll go ahead and do that. So we'll go ahead and activate you. I mean, you. We'll go ahead and go. Vaxia effect. Target. Target Bixie. And. And. Gia. So. You're dead. And then you get summoned. Mix the effect. Well, the thing is, I could go for Armides, but I believe that this is after. At the start of the damage step. Oh, okay. Well, then, yeah. Let's go ahead and go and summon a Beyond. No, it doesn't. No. Why would it miss timing? Destroy a target, and if you do, just summon the other monster from the graveyard. And we'll go ahead and sink. Five. I guess I should might as well just go ahead and look it up. Um. Alright, well, I went to go search for whether back CMS is timing, and uh, in my time for me to search miss time to search it up, my opponent here quit. I mean he was gonna lose anyway. I was just gonna go into Armadies attack. This would not went off, fucked him up, fucked him up, so it would have been all the same. But uh yeah, Demetrius right there. It doesn't miss timing. Because it says and if you do, which means that the summon and the destruction of the monsters have been simultaneously, which means back to his resolve, which means that the Yangzing monster that I, that I just activated, that would be the it would be the last thing to go ahead and resolve its effect. So Thank you, Demetrius, for wasting my time and making me lose my opponent. Yep. <laughs> yeah, but there you go. This is go. Now you know about Baxia and its freaking effect. It doesn't miss time. Alright. Because it would make sense for them to go ahead and do it like that. Like, the whole point is for you to destroy one Yang Zing, summon one Zing, you then that Yang Zing will allow you to summon another Yang Zing, so you continue the Synchro play. It wouldn't make any sense for Konami to make the card, make the Yang Zings miss time like that. That'd be dumb. That'd be really dumb. So, I was like, I was already, you know, kind of suspicious that he was already incorrect, but I went ahead and took the time to go ahead and look it up. So, there we go. So, we just had to get another duel. Like I said, that man was going to lose anyway, so... There's no shame in the game. No, I was about to say, it looks like, ugh, this game's bad, but yeah, at least I drew a Yang Zing. As long as I draw a Yang Zing, I'll be okay. You know, the revival is nice and all, and I'll probably be using it for some plays in the future, but for right now, I'm just going to take it a little slow. No point in me being in a hurry right now. Hmm. Okay. So, Raw Disciples, summon more Raw Disciples. Summon up to two Raw Disciples. Cannot be tributed without further tribute. Summon a Slifer, Obelisk, or Raw. You cannot special summon monsters except... You cannot special summon monsters except by the effect of Raw Disciples. Is that just period or just to the end of the turn? You cannot special summon monsters except by... So I'm assuming... So I guess he can't summon any more monsters. Unless he gets rid of them. He can't even, like, exceed with them or anything. You just straight up. You cannot special summon monsters except by the effect of Ra's Disciple. Period. It's not even until, like, the end of the turn or anything. 
Alright, well. I'm assuming I'll be facing down an Egyptian god coming up, so. I'll also go ahead and kill one of them so he can't tribute for an Egyptian god. Never mind, he's going to be tributing for an Egyptian god. Alright, that's fine. Let's go ahead and set these two. Go ahead, so here we go. I wonder which god it'll be. Obelisk, Slifer, Raw. Are all really good. Yeah, so went ahead and blocked Obelisk. Alright. That's fine. This card requires three notes to be normal summoned. This card cannot be the, uh, that Obelisk summon. Obelisk. Obelisk summon is your normal summon. Put that back in your hand. That's fine. I'll go ahead and take 24. Get my effect. I, said, I, I can deal with Obelisk. I just gotta get set up, pretty much. So I am summoning a Yangzing monster in defense position. Wow. I could totally go and summon and make a uh, B rose. I could, but it's not necessary. I'm just gonna take the duel slow. I'm not in a hurry. Ah, go ahead. Probably just go ahead and go into like a Beals. So we still gotta summon. Couple more. The monster has to be in attack position. Draw. Oh, ooh, that top back. Oh my god. Wow. Well, yeah, fuck it. Top decks are made of these. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking number generator says fuck your obelisk. Damn. Damn. Oh, I Sam. Uh, I guess I'll go ahead and chain. I'm thinking, because it's not during the damage step like it usually is, so I can go ahead and revive. I'm trying to think who the fuck I'd want to go into, you know? Yeah, I guess I'll go ahead and chain. So, you get your effect. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know. I still get my effect out. I know. I will also get my effect, because I can effect destroy, or do I miss timing now? Let me see. Ice hand effect. I will chain. Chain resolves backwards, so I summon my monster. Ice hand effect destroy. Destroy a monster. Effect effect. No, uh, yeah, I don't miss timing. It's effect effect. So, I'm going to go ahead and summon... Hmm... Oh, I'm, I'm definitely going to go ahead and summon Gia, because I need to get Gia in this duel. Ch-ch-ch-Gia! Now the question is... Well, this is just credit card, you know that. I was going to say, now the question is whether I want to go ahead and do Chao Feng, because I could now. And Firehand would not get its effect. Just, nah. I'm going to go ahead and definitely go ahead and go into... Uh... Alright. I'm going to go into making my opponent quit. <laughs> I was, uh, but I'm definitely gonna go ahead and go into uh, Baxia and put the uh, Ice Hand back. I mean the Fire Hand back and put the Scarecrow back. That's the problem with going into shit like uh Oh, I could have trished him. Ah, I want to trish somebody. I, I want to feel the power of that fucking card, which I hate. I don't like trish. Obviously, I'm a U Bell player, so I don't like trish. Like, oh yeah, so you're gonna go ahead and freaking banish my U Bell on the field and banish my U Bell in the graveyard? Like, oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Love Trish. This run is dead as fuck. And maybe we can actually get you Bell involved with this duel, though. 
That's one of the reasons I work here. I, I want to get you, you Bell more involved, but I don't want you Bell to be too much of the deck that it clogs, you know? And there's a thin line in between it. Because does some of the cards that you Bell uses have synergy with the deck? Oh, most definitely. You know, you Bell uses Limit Reverse. You know, a lot of my Yenzi monsters can use Limit Reverse. Uh, you Bell uses Max Chameleon. You know, Sawani and uh, ba Beyond can use uh, um, uh, my Max Chameleon, you know? So there's, there's definitely some, there's some synergy. There's just not enough, and I'm trying to exploit the number generator, one I'm getting night, one Rota, and clearly I drew, and so, yeah, this Rota is dead. I don't have any other warriors in the deck besides the one I'm getting night, which I'm drew, so. Like I said, I just want to get you Bell more involved in the duel, so I'm trying to figure out a way to have you Bell there, but then not be too much of the deck, you know? Because there's not a lot of darks in here, you know? Some decks are just more darks than others, and this is one where it's not a lot of darks. Wow, just mass fucking chameleons. What do I have? You're dead and you're not terrible, so I might just summon you, XE you. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm a normal summon. Okay. I don't want the effect. Yeah, you can turn to one monster zero to find your gear but I don't want the effect because there's no more point in me doing that. Okay, that's fine. Alright, so now since he used that, can't X tell him anymore. What's up with this card? When your opponent summons a monster, monsters have the monster's original attack. So I'm not just at 800 attack monsters, weird. And I, I can't, and there's no even point in going to King of Fire because I just have Mass Chameleon. You know it would be great to go into right now? Fucking the Lolo Chain. That'd be great. That would be flipping awesome. Yeah, there's no point in me exceeding into anybody. I guess I can sink. But in whom? I guess I guess I can go in hot red. Yeah, I could do hot red. Not like I summon him that often anyway. Can't go into Beals. One turn monster, one or more non tuner one time monster. Nope, can't go into Beyond. I mean Baxia. Nope, nope, nope. Yeah, I mean hot. It's hot in Topeka. Nah, fuck it. What's this card do? During the battle phase, activate one of these effects. Target a monster on the field, it cannot be destroyed. Uh, you take no battle damage from the battles. Okay, that's fine. I might just leave it like this. I really don't see the point of doing anything. Especially since it doesn't seem like my monster, my, my monster, my opponent's doing too much. Uh, I'm actually going to put a token on here just to remind me that it's cut in half, because that's permanent, right? Is that to the end of the turn? Nope, it's permanent, so I'm permanently at 800. Because I could do math like that. I said I could have won in the hot, but why, you know? Uh, to remind me of the attack drop. <clears throat> yeah, because if I don't have the counter there, I'm going to forget, so I don't want to forget. <laughs> I said, Adhesion Trap Hole, it's a weird card. It doesn't kill a monster, it doesn't get rid of it, it's just like, oh, just cut your opponent, you just cut your attack in half, like, yeah, yeah, okay, that's fine. King's Knight, this card is not something you can... Well, you control it and you can summon Jackson, I think. So you're going to buy a thousand attack. Go ahead and activate this. So I take 1200. Right. So go ahead and summon a Yang Zing from my deck. I think I want to summon. Hmm. Hmm. Goyo's not bad. Goyo is not affected by trap cards? Yeah, sure. We'll do that. Yep, yep, yep. We'll do that. And this is what? Till your next standby phase. Wow, that's an attack and defense till your next standby phase. It's pretty good. It's just. So it's, it's only spell speed one. You know, it's not like Forbidden Lands. It's just like, oh, you know. Or Rush Reckless or whatever.
So, like I said, I think I might want to keep the deck as only I can get more Ubel more involved with the deck. So, that's and it's partially it's my fault. It's my fault that Ubel's not involved with the deck. I could probably get it, but then I don't want to interfere too much with the Yang Zing, Yang Zing points as well. So I pretty much I just got to do a little bit more research about what you know what I want to do with the deck. You know, get Ubel more involved. And if I can get Ubel more involved, which it's, it's like the complete opposite of getting Ubel more involved, just because, uh, of course, while the chain is hit, so. It's kind of hard to drop you both the graveyard. I don't know. Maybe. I mean, Mystic Tomato can summon Ubel. It can summon Gia. So maybe, maybe Mystic Tomato can join the the fray. Okay. Okay. No, so I don't even know why you're quitting. So of course I was gonna go ahead and draw. Okay, that's fine. And sink these two into the Goyal Guardian, who will be unaffected by traps. Kill your monster, which will still be twenty six. That's fine, but. I'm 28, so you're dead. Unless this is like a Forbidden Lance or something, which then, you know, fuck me. But no, not fuck me too hard, because I still do have creation. You know. And, uh, so I still get a Yang Zing summon. But fuck you up, fuck this back row, take your knight. So not terrible. I said, let me. I mean, the extra deck looks fine, you know? Beyond, I go into Beyond the Most. I could probably cut him down to two if I want to put anything else, but it seems like everything is okay. I said I was editing another deck and accidentally saved that deck over this deck, so that's probably why this deck looks a little bit different. The main deck I pretty much got, but the the, the, the extra deck I was like, eh, you know. Uh, I go into Chow Fang occasionally, so why not? Uh, Color Shion Z, uh, Trish if I can pull it off, uh, Beals, Hot. Hot is just in case. Hot is like an emergency button when, you know, uh, if I need to go like Math Committee and Summon Swanee and, you know, the one bounce with Beyond won't be enough. I can just be like, alright, let's go hot. Yeah. Then Clear Wing, Black Rose, Goyo, Armides, uh, Castell in case I see, uh, Extant in case I see, and if I, of course, King of Fairlands searches me, my multiple Math Chameleons. So, uh, like I said, I might go ahead and get, get Ubel more involved with the deck, which I would like to do, which would really. I mean, we got the destruction. You know, we have the destruction. We're running shit like Dark Hole and Trenzels and shit. So we got the destruction. We got the limit versions. We got the mass chameleons. Really, we just need to find a way to go ahead and send you all a little bit quicker. So maybe go actually go ahead and run um, the Mystic Tomatoes, who of course can summon the uh, Gia at the end if I want to. So I can be like, Mystic Tomato. Oh, you killed it, Mystic Tomato. I mean, come on, the deck is already floaty as fuck. I mean, pretty much <laughs> the Yang Zings are just glorified Mystic Tomatoes, right? So. uh... Yeah, maybe go ahead and try that out, because, you know, Mr. Tomato can summon you bell from my uh, deck, which wouldn't be terrible, you know. I don't run uh, Chi Wen, I guess I could run a Chi Wen, but I don't like Chi Wen. It just doesn't bring anything to the table that I can't really do already. But I guess I can run a Chi Wen, and then I could put a star here, because I, I can summon you bell and summon Chi Wen, and then Chi Wen can go ahead and sync with the you bell that's coming off of Mr. Tomato into a uh, star year. Maybe, baby? I'm not sure. So, uh, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and call that an episode of Vitamin Y. So if you guys have any suggestions, go ahead and tell me in the comment section below. But, uh, yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed. I will see you guys tomorrow with Super Vice, which, like I said, might be one of the decks that I'm going to go ahead and take off. But I think should, Return of Shadal Bell, I think it will, you know, kind of heal the wounds of missing that little level chain temporarily. And, uh, you know, you actually get to see Shadal's on my channel, because you don't get to see Shadal's on my channel right now. You know, so... Yeah, I'm not returning Burning Abyss Ebel. That was a terrible idea. That was a terrible idea, but should all Ebel, that could work. That could work again. You know, Mask Chameleon can summon back, you know, my uh, should all Dragon, go into some Synchro XC plays like that. Yeah, you know, they're dark, so I can go I'm gonna get a Night Send, you know, should all Monster. I can go I'm gonna get a Night shen Send uh, uh, Ebel. Dark Grafter on the other hand is a little bit tricky because, of course, Dark Grafter's effect first is the cost. So if I go summon Dark Grafter for effect, pitch a Shadal monster, that Shadal monster I pitch will not get its effect. But the Shadal monster I send from my deck to Graveyard will get its effect. So, you know, maybe we could work with that. I, I think that that deck could probably come back on to Vlad and Y temporarily until hopefully Wobble Chain comes back after Worlds. Crossing my fingers. If not, then fuck it. <laughs> so, uh, anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. Like I said, League is uh, this Saturday, so look forward to it. And uh, yeah, see you guys tomorrow with Supervisory Bell.